Welcome back to Advanced Data Analysis. This is Presentation 2, Part 3. In the previous presentation, we looked at how data is distributed. Now let's take a look at some of the useful descriptive statistics that can inform our data analysis. One of the most simple and common descriptive statistics is the mean, and the mean can be very useful. Uh, it basically is the, uh, is the average of numeric quantitative data. What we have is we add, what we do is we add up the entire data set and divide it by the number of observations or the number of n. And you will notice that this formula here uh, is the formula for the de deriving the mean, and the x with the bar on top of it is the symbol for the mean. The median is another measure of central tendency, is another descriptive statistics, and a statistic, and it is the midpoint of a data set. What we do is arrange the observations from smallest to largest. And if the number of observations is odd, we just use the middle number in the data set. But if the number of observations is even, we have to divide the two middle numbers to come up with the median. Now, if the median and the mean are close together, the distribution is relatively symmetrical. In fact, if the median and the mean are, if the distribution is exactly symmetrical, the median and the mean are exactly the same. But if the distribution is skewed, the median is farther away from the mean. And the mean can be affected by uh, a value that is far outside of most of the other values. For example, if we look at the average weight here is a data set of the average weight of political science professors. And you will notice that one of the political science professors weighs 600 pounds, far more than any other. He would be an outlier. This person would be an outlier. And uh, it will influence the mean. Now the median we had talked about is the middle number of the data set. You'll notice this is an even number data set with 12 observations. And so what we have to do here is we have to uh, uh, average observation number uh, 6 and 7 right here to come up with the median. And so the, it's the average of the two middle numbers. The mode is simply the most frequently uh, occurring response or number. If we end up with two numbers that are uh, the same in a, the, are, are distributed the same way in a data set, for example, let's say there were th three people with, who weighed 600 pounds in the previous one and three who weighed 200 pounds in the previous one, that would, would be a bimodal, two modes. Uh, so it's possible, and sometimes it's interesting to find out that we have more than one mode. Maybe there were two different things going on to, to cause scores to lump that way. All a part of data analysis. And simply figuring the mode is simply the most commonly occurring number. And you will notice here that the number 165 occurs twice. And in that case, since no other number occurs twice, that would be the mode. Now, there's more than just measures of central tendency that can inform us in descriptive statistics. There's also the measures of dispersion. Dispersion tells us about the variability in data. And the measures of dispersion that are common are the range and the standard deviation. 
and there's also the variance, but the variance is simply a way to get to the standard deviation. So we want to see how much these variables differ from minimum to maximum and the distance between them. Here's the range, for example. The range is simply the high number the minus the low number, and that gives us the range. Uh, and, and it gives us a good idea of the variability in the data. And as far as the distance between the observations, you know, the average distance, that's the standard deviation. So, for example, you will notice that in this one here with the number of pets, the standard deviation uh, would be uh, would be minus four, and I'm sorry, the standard deviation would be three in this data set here, with the mean being five. So the average spread is is three away from the mean. The standard deviation gives us a good idea on how much variability is occurring in the data set. And when we communicate the means, we always list the standard deviations with them to give us an idea of that variation. And here are the steps for uh, coming up with the standard deviation. What, and while we can do this easily by hand, uh, there's many, uh, you can Google many standard deviation calculators out there on the web that will do it for you. But it might be fun for you to try it yourself. So uh, we've talked about descriptive statistics. This is the end of presentation 2.3 uh, and I will be back with you in unit 3 to talk about how we can display uh, the results of our statistical analysis through graphing.